Hi everybody. Welcome back to Social Science class. Myself Johnson George. In this video we are going to study a new topic. Do you want to know the name of the topic? Ah, the topic is Vedic age. What the topic? Vedic age very interesting chapter, very interesting topic Vedic age. Which period is called Vedic age? Ah, the Indian history is period between 1500 BC to 600 BC is called Vedic age. Which period is called Vedic age? The Indian history is 1500 BC to 600 BC is called Vedic age. Understood? Ah, the Indian history is 1500 BC to 600 BC is called Vedic age. Then again another question is there: Why this period is called Vedic age? Ah, simple reason. Ah, very simple reason why this period is called Vedic age. Ah, the most of the information about this period is derived from Vedic literature. Ah, most of the information about this period is derived from Vedic literature. So this period is called Vedic age. You know the Stone Age or Bronze Age. There was no any literary evidences, only archaeological evidences. But this period onwards, we are having what evidence? Literary evidences also. Ah, the period between 1500 BC to 600 BC, the Indian history's evident literary evidence are our Vedas. So this period is called Vedic age. Say once again, why it, this period is called Vedic age? Ah, answer: Most of the information about this period is derived from Vedic literature. So the period between 1500 BC to 600 BC is called Vedic age. Understood? Again, you know what are the Vedic literature or what are the Vedas? How many Vedas are there? Ah, four Vedas are there. You know, ah, the four Vedas are there. Like that, Rig Veda, Sam Veda, the Yajur Veda, or Atharva Veda. Hmm? The Rig Veda, Sam Veda. Ajur Veda and Atharva Veda. These are the four Vedas. These all the four Vedas written during this period only. That's why this period is called the Vedic age. Ah, not only Vedas, the Puranas and epics like the Ramayana and Mahabharata. These two books also written during this period. Okay, these all the books are very famous for us. Okay, say once again, why this period is called Vedic age? Ah, because uh, most of the information about this period is derived from Vedic literature. So this period is called uh, Vedic age. Next one, what the point? Ah, the four Vedas. What are the four Vedas? Uh, ah, Rig Veda, Sama Veda. Ajur Veda and Atharva Veda. Not only this Vedas, two more books were written during this period. Ramayana and Mahabharata. Okay friends, we can go to next point. In which language these Vedas were written? Ah, these all the Vedas were, were written in Sanskrit language. Ah, the Vedas were written in Sanskrit language. Ah, the Sanskrit in Veda, Vedic time, 
was quite different from the Sanskrit that we are familiar with now. The present day we are using the Sanskrit language. But that Sanskrit and the Vedic language, Vedic is Sanskrit, something different is not there. Okay, the Vedic Sanskrit is something, uh, something that is uh, the old Sanskrit. But now it is uh, many changes happened in that language. So the modern Sanskrit is entirely different from that of the Vedic Sanskrit. Okay, then the translating the Vedic literature, the scholars discovered many similarities between the Sanskrit and uh, the European languages like Latin, English, German, etc. Ah, these Latin, English, German, etc. are uh, the European languages, the European people using these languages. But there are some words, similar words. The Sanskrit words are there in their language also. Oh, some of that, uh, the English or German or Latin words are there in Sanskrit language also. Ah, this led to a conclusion. What conclusion? Ah, the conclusion is that eh, Sanskrit belong to the Indo-European group of languages. Sanskrit belong to which group of languages? Indo-European group of languages. Sanskrit belong to the Indo-European. The Indo-European languages. Sanskrit. Okay, friends. Ah, this slide, what were the things we learned there? We learned in which language the Vedas written. Vedas written in which language? Sanskrit language. And uh, next one, the Sanskrit language of present day is something different from that of the Vedic Sanskrit language. And the Sanskrit language and some of the European languages, there are some similarities are there, some of the words are there in the European languages. So either historians search, what they search, Sanskrit belong to one of the Indo-European languages or they belong to Indo-European group of languages. Ah, very interesting fact we are studying now. See another one is that um, Ah, in the Indian language, some of the Indian language originated from the Sanskrit only. Which, which language originated from Sanskrit? Ah, like that Hindi, we are, you are using Hindi language. Ah, then Kashmiri language is there, Punjabi language is there, uh, then Assamese is there, Gujarati is there, Bengali is there. This whole the languages, ah, which how? Sanskrit roots. Okay, which language have the Sanskrit roots? Ah, friends, ah, tell me the Hindi, Kashmiri, Punjabi, Assamese, Gujarati, Bengali, etc. Ah, these all the languages have what common feature? Sanskrit roots. These all the languages originated from Sanskrit. But some other languages are there in our country. These languages are not origin from Sanskrit, but they are called uh, Dravidian languages. What we call them? Uh, we call them Dravidian languages. Ah, that means uh, the South Indian languages. Like that, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam. Four languages are there, South Indian languages. These languages belong to what group of language? Dravidian group of languages. Dravidian language, we called that one Dravidian languages. Tamil, that is the language of Tamil Nadu. Telugu, that is the language of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Kannada is the language of Karnataka. Or Malayalam is the language of Kerala. And these all four languages we called uh, what language? Dravidian languages or Dravidian group of languages. Okay, friends. Another fact we can see. Ah, the Vedic literature belongs to which group of people? Ah, this Vedic literature belongs to the Aryans. 
the vedic literature belonged to a people called the aryans that means during the vedic age the aryans settled in the northern india the aryans settled in north india during this period you know king bharata ha ah, king bharata and his descendants were aryans only so after the king bharata and his descendants our country india was named bharata varsha okay so that the king bharata belonged to which race the aryan race or aryan group then the vedic age it divided into two periods again ah the vedic age divided into two periods called the early vedic age and next one is called the later vedic age the early vedic age and later vedic age that is the two division of the vedic age then the what is called the early vedic age the early vedic age means the period of rigveda the period or the time the rigveda was written that period that is called the early vedic age and what is called the later vedic age ah the next four vedas sorry next three, three vedas called the yajurveda samaveda and atharvaveda this three vedas written that period called the later vedic age okay so either vedic age divided into two p two divided into two one is called the early vedic age and later vedic age in our live classes we are going to discuss very detailed what are the features of the early vedic age or rigvedic uh, rig Ved, uh, vedic age or what are the features of the later vedic age there is a political condition life of the people social life everything we will discuss in our live class i hope you understood the today's point today we learned what is called the vedic age and the period of the vedic age and in which language the vedas were the vedas were written understood okay so the age of rigveda we called the early vedic age and the age of the time time of writing the Uh, yajurveda samaveda and atharvaveda that period called the later vedic period we will meet again in our live class thank you